let's talk backup. I know a lot of people complicate this very much and I used to as well, but I found the best solution and the simplest way to do it, fastest, cheapest, the best way it works for me. So let's help you. First of all, let's start with a camera. So when I shoot a photo, it basically takes two photos, one JPEG, one RAW. Um, and what it does, because I have two slots and most of the camera have two slots, so one SD card and, or two SD cards, or I have uh, this one, which is an XQD. Uh, it's safer, but it's just like how my camera is in, like set up, so I had to buy this. Um, but I really recommend buying the bigger ones, 128. I know a lot, a lot of photographers uh, use smaller ones like 32 or 64, but then they end up with 6, 10, or I even heard 20, like those. I have two, only two, like three with this one. But this one stays in my camera all the, all the time. I never let it out because this is the backup one. Here I store, every time I take a photo, it shoots one JPEG and one RAW. The RAW, the JPEG goes on this one, which is the backup, and I never use it. It's just in case this one gets deleted or it breaks down, which also never happened to me. So here goes the RAW. Um, and then this one, I just plug it in my computer, import all the photos, and it can, hit, it can take like 2000 photos. So I deleted every big job or every three small jobs like I formatted. Um, usually when I deliver the photos. So if this one is full, I'll use the other um, SD card if I didn't deliver the photos to the client, just in case. Um, and this I format once it's full and this takes JPEG, which are much lighter. So I can store up to four or five jo big jobs on it. So it, it's, it's really okay, it's really cool. Um, same size though. But then how I do it is basically I go to um, here and then on the camera side, on the photo side, then secondary slot and then raw primarily and JPEG secondarily. Um, and then, oh yeah, primarily is the SD card cause I don't wanna, can you see it? <laughs> yeah, you can see it now. Uh, which is a different option, doesn't matter. And then image quality is uh, raw, nef, with JPEG, normal. Doesn't matter which JPEG, because I never use the JPEGs one. It's just for the backup. So this is how you do it. When I finish a job, I plug this into my computer, I go to Lightroom, and I import it. Those are my settings. Um, and then I put it or on my computer itself. I got one terabyte on my computer or on, I have a few hard drives. So this is my favorite one. It's a bit more expensive because it's SSD and it's super small. It's from Samsung, one terabyte, very happy with it. It's the fastest. Um, so I import it mostly to this one. Um, and then when this is completely full, because it's only one terabyte, then I use those ones from Leica, four terabyte, five terabyte, six terabyte, doesn't matter. I have like five, I own five of those around. So every time it gets completely full, then I'll show you what to do. But when it's really, really full, then I just buy a new one and six, Six like those in seven years is not so much. It costs like 100 euros, I think. Um, so that's that. Whew, I don't want to speak about a lot of things. Um, oh yeah, so when I have all the photos, when I have all the, like when, when this is full, then I'll just go to it. So this is the four terabyte one, for example, and then, you can see the albums are very small, 200 photos. I usually shoot like 1000 photos every day. So for example, you can see this one. So if it's like after half a year, usually when it gets full, 
Um, if, they, if the clients didn't contact me for half a year asking for any photos or something like this, it's their problem now. And I don't need to save the roles for them, right? Uh, if, and if I don't want it for my portfolio, it's not important. Like this is quite an important job, which I liked. But this, for example, maybe, yeah, it's not like a portfolio thing. So I'll just go here, rating equal to zero stars. So this is basically all the photos that I didn't edit, didn't select, didn't care about, which I had like a lot of photos and I selected other ones. Then I'll just command A and then delete from disk. And then it make it gets me a lot of space. So then this will be instead of instead of having one thousand five hundred, I'll have only three hundred forty left, which is amazing. So it saves a lot of space. And then when I export photos, I actually just found a new plugin, which is not sponsored at all. Um, I'll never do sponsors, but when I export it, then it's called JPEG mini and it's really amazing because it mean like, like usually when I export with those export settings, then every photo is around two megabytes, but with JPEG mini, it, it makes them all the photos, um, 600 gigabyte, which is like triple the like three times less the size. So it saves me a lot of space and the, the quality is the same, like almost identical. Just when you zoom in really much, then you can see a difference. But for clients, it doesn't matter. So once I exported the photos, then they are on my desktop and I actually use iCloud plus. So you can have like, I have the biggest one because I have a lot of photos. I have the biggest membership, which is 10 euros a month. And that's two terabytes. So every time I export photos, I can have them on a the cloud. So someone can steal my computer, can steal everything from me. And I can go to a browser somewhere and just get into my iCloud and find all the photos and still deliver them to the clients. So that's amazing. I can even access it from my phone easily. Um, and not only that, it's also when I don't have space on my computer, it just, and I don't use the photos, it takes all the photos that I don't use and it puts them on a the cloud and it delete them from my comp deletes it from my computer. So after I, like after they're on a the cloud and I delivered like on the desktop and I delivered them, then I usually select all the best photos, like my favorite photos. For example, I put a note here, I put a tag and uh, then I do whatever I want to do with the photos, put them on my website or whatever. Um, and then I would go to documents and here I have all the categories of what all the photos I've taken ever. Uh, so I'll put, this is a festival, I'll put it in events, for example. And then here I have all the events I ever shot. So you can see here, it doesn't save like like all the photos are not here, just photos that I sometimes look at. And if I want to see a photo, then I can just download it and I got it as simple as easy. And then in between, I deliver the photos, of course. And for that, I use right now Smash, which is this one. So basically I can just go to a whole to an album and put them in here and then it will give me an easy link that I can just copy and paste to the client, to WhatsApp or email, and then they can download all the photos. And this is how it looks like. I can refresh it. This is how it looks like. I can just also from here, I can like put all the photos here email them or get a link it costs 60 euros per year it's exactly like we transfer i'm very happy with it um unlimited data and i can keep it up to 90 days i think now 30 days so the client can download the fo his photos within 30 days and it's online so it's amazing and i can have like my photos and everything in the background my logo very happy with it 
that's it. Success.